souffle de vie en DHC, Lazare sentait déjà l'odeur de la mort. Like, he was smelling the odor of death. For four days buried in the tomb, if you have to take something from what I'm saying, the word of God should be a standard for your life. It should be something you should always back up. Like, hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nadesh Mvelu. I am a Kamunyan YouTuber based in Yawundi, Cameroon. If it's your first time to see me, where have you been? Like seriously, where have you been? Before we get in, please subscribe. Subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you. So video, you have seen the title. Is God trustworthy? Is God to be trusted? Can you trust God? Before we jump into the video, I want to talk about something. When I created my channel, the first video, I said my channel was about faith, relationship, marriage, lifestyle. But I've created so many videos, like 17 or 18 videos, and I have not made it clear my point, like where I stand. So at this point, I feel so guilty. I'm like, no girl, that's not the purpose. You're going, like, you're going somewhere else. So today, I brought a faith-based video. I just hope you enjoy it so without wasting much of your time let's get into the video okay let's start the first point i will talk about the fairy can you trust god let me answer it yes you can trust god is god trustworthy yes he is he is trustworthy but what are the points that make him trustworthy for you personally not for god is trustworthy no matter what but depending on you and him what are some points? first point is have a relationship with god have a relationship and faith in him yeah in hebrews eleven six, 6 it says it's impossible to please god without faith so we'll not die too much in it you have to have faith and a relationship with god before you can even trust him because if you don't have a relationship with someone let me just go aside god if you don't have a relationship with someone, one-on-one, -on -one, you don't talk to the person, you don't get to communicate. Where is the trust coming from? How will you trust the person? I don't get it. So you first of all have to have a relationship, a one-on-one -on -one with him, conversation. So anytime you come, a relationship with God. Second this point I'm talking about, be trustworthy yourself. Yeah, be trustworthy. Is God supposed to be? Can God be trusted? Yes. Can you be trusted? Like, can you answer? Can you be trusted? If you have done kind of person that says one thing today and does the different thing tomorrow, you are not to be trusted. If you are the person that says one thing and the action says the different thing, you are not to be trusted. But God is to be trusted. So be trustworthy yourself because in His Word it is said, God honors His Word more than His name. He honors his words, like what he says he will do. He honors it more than his name. So it means that if he has said something about you, so be sure he will do it. That's why he is trustworthy. Satan comes in so that we can doubt God. If we doubt God in one, we will doubt God in everything. So the devil is always playing some tricks for you to always doubt God. Okay, let me go to Genesis. When the snake came, with the, with the bad news he made the woman to doubt god he asked why did you think he did not allow you to eat from that fruit like he makes you to start doubting god and when you doubt in one you doubt in all so always stand your trust never to doubt god trust him for whatever because what he says he will do it so god is trustworthy the third one be intentional what do i mean by this always count your blessing that God have done. Always count the victories that God have done in your life. That's when you will know you will have more trust in Him. Be intentional about it. Always remember what He what you overcame. Let's go to First Samuel seventeen verse one to fifty eight. It's so long. When David was going to fight the Philistine, that is Goliath. He remember his victory. He remember that God will have done it. Can still do it. That's trust. You get me? That's trust in someone. You remember what he did. He can still do it. He has never failed. 
you get because people were looking david so small goliath huge who doesn't know that story and david going to fight because just the trust he had just the trust he had in god made him to be able to stand the browns and finally he won because of the trust he had for god trusting god means you give everything to him going to answer my question can god still be trusted yes let's go to jeremiah 29 verse 11 i know many people are familiar with this which says for i know the plan i have for you declares the lord plan to prosper you and not to harm you plan to give you hope and a future hallelujah he knows the plan like god knows the plan for you it might take time but it comes with patience if you know if you trust in god and have patience you know what he has said then you will know that god is to be trusted he is trustworthy 100 isaiah 53 verse 2 what does it say when you pass through the waters i will be with you and when you pass through the rivers they will not sweep over you when you walk through the fire you will not be burned the flames will not set you ablaze for i am the lord your god god said he will be with you when you go through difficult moments that's why he is to be trusted because he have said it and remember i said in the beginning god said he, god honors his word more than his name when you walk through the fire you will not be burned that makes me to remember daniel when Shaga, Misha, and Abengo were thrown into the fire because they refused to bow down to king. So the king decided that he would throw them. And he asked that they should make the funerals seven times hotter than it used to be because they refused. Because when he asked them why did nobody they say they don't have any reason to explain to him because they can't bow, they can only bow to their gods. Imagine. And because I'm sure they remember what God said when you go through the fire, I will be with you. So the king decided to throw them. So he asked soldiers to carry them and throw them in the funeral. The soldier that went there even died because they hurt the way it was hot. So when they throw them in the funeral, the king asked, How many people did they throw there? They said three, but we are actually seeing four people dancing. So the king was shocked, surprised. So he from today we we'll worship he ordered them to come out and said from today we we'll worship the god of shagra mission and abenigo so you know how god is to be trusted because even for your life give it for him if you trust him anything that will take your life for him do it because he is able to do what you don't imagine okay let's go to john 11 verse 32 who does know the story of mary Martha, and lazarus because they trusted God. What happened? When Jesus, when they heard that Jesus was done, Martha ran and said, Savior Jesus, if only you were there, my brother could have died. My brother, your friend. And that's not late. Just look at her and say, no, no, no. He can still do it. So Jesus went. Lazarus has been in the tomb for four days. He was smelling the order of death already like who knows the order of death i don't know i heard a song like indira if you're your camera you'll be familiar with her indira she sang a song and said souffle de vie and then she said lazar sentait déjà l'odeur de la mort like he was smelling the order of death for four days buried in the tomb and jesus said get up the entire and he came back to life that's how trustworthy he can be. That's how trustworthy you should trust God, knowing that he can resurrect. Let's go to 5 verse 21 to 24. When Jesus healed the daughter of Jairus, she was, he said, when Jesus came down from the he told him, he went and knelt down his feet and said, Master, my daughter is dying back home. If only you touch her, she'll be healed. That's trust. You get me? That's trust. Meaning that if this one I tell if this one touches, if God touches, like that's how far you should trust God. Saying, telling him, Father, I know if you lay a hand, if you speak on this my situation, it will be better. Best. You get what I'm saying? So as Jesus was going to heal the daughter of Jairus, who doesn't know the story of this woman? Like every Christian must surely know this. 
the woman with the issue of blood. As she heard that Jesus was about to pass, she said in her heart, Only a touch from him will heal me. Hallelujah. Only a touch from him, I will be healed. So, as Jesus was passing, the crowd, like a crowd was gathering. So she just went, she fulfilled, passed her way, and she just touched the garment of Jesus. And instantly, because of the trust and faith she had in God, because of the trust and faith she had in God, I told you from the beginning, it is impossible, everything we are talking, it is impossible to do it without faith in your heart. Okay? A touch from you will heal me. And immediately, she touched the master garment, she was healed immediately. And the power left him. You get me? You have to trust God. You have to trust God in the worst situation. Just know he is there. And always go back, back up with the words of God. We'll come to that. The word of God says, the word of God can never come out and go back void and go back empty. Meaning, the word of God can never come into your life and doesn't change you and go back the same. Never. It comes to transform you. It comes to impact you. So always refer. Always. Don't forget this. If you have to take something from what I'm saying, the word of God should be a standard for your life. It should be something you should always back up. Like anything you say, okay, I have this, like a few years back, when I was having a doctrine, like learning more about Christ, the woman that taught me, yeah, she said she said something to me. She told me that, okay, whenever you give a promise to somebody and the person comes and tells you that, I promise you, I am going to give you this. You might be first. When I tell you that, you said, you promised me in January 2002 that you will give me this. It makes me more like guilty. That's what God, God honors his word. Always go back to his word. You said in your word, you said in Mark this, you said in Matthew, you said in Psalms, this, this, like refer it. You said in your word that if I do, it comes with a promise. Remember, remind God of his word to you. Don't just speak void like, is God to be trusted? Yes. When you want, remind him of what he said about your situation. Like this is the last one. We'll go to Joshua 1, 8. I just love it so much. Keep this book of the law always on your lip. Meditate on it day and night. So that you might be careful to do everything written in it, then you will be prosperous and successful. Hallelujah. Let me read over. It says, Meditate on the word of God. Keep this book of law in your mind. Remind yourself of who God is in your life. And it came with a promise. You will be successful. You will not just be successful, but you'll be prosperous you will prosper as jeremiah says eh i know the plans i have for you you get so much watching this video and you're not so convinced that god is to be trusted guys i think we have come to the end of this video please if you like this kind of video comment like share even to somebody share this with somebody tell him like you might have somebody going through some stuff you can share this video and i'm bet you it will help someone pray that god let this video just touch one person just bring one person to cry but i have just backslide forgetting who god is please share this video to somebody tell him god loves him and see you guys in my next video